Hey guys, it's Bill and Bob from the East Coast Treasure Hunters on YouTube. And you're watching the John and Jackie Metal Detecting Channel. And their new episode starts... Wait for it... Now. Saturday night and I'm making sandwiches which is chicken stuffing mustard yep. and pickle yep. and you know what that's for don't you because me and Jackie are going detecting tomorrow yippee sorry I'm talking though it's late at night so we'll see you we'll see you shortly Jackie going through the tunnel this morning under the, under the river. Uh, I say we're on our way to metal detecting, so we'll see uh, when we get there. Bye for now. Right, we're uh, near the site now, so I just thought I'd do a few shouts out because we've got about three or four hundred yards to walk. Right, first shout out to Scully, 1983. Congrats on your gold ring you found. Yeah, well done to you. Uh, not forgetting Fairnox MD, the Flincher Finders, Akshore and Mega Horsey. Ach. What? Ach. P. Sabins, uh, Rock Phonic One, Sir Metal Detect, who's the son of the John 316 UK, hello to you. The EC Treasure Hunters, Bill and Bob, hello to you. Keaty Six in Alaska, sweet. Uh, well done to Caroline for kicking I dig it ass <laughs> with the fans she's been finding lately. Well done. Right, a shen yet? Uh, and that's it for now. Right, we'll see. Right, I just walked on this field and I've just got a signal. I haven't got a clue what it is, but I'll show you later. By the way, this field hasn't been done for 15 years by our mates, and uh, loads of Roman coins have come off here, I believe, in the past. So, fingers crossed. Right, next thing I've got is a little button. My hands are freezing today. I think I'm going to have to change my gloves in a minute. Right, let's hope we get something. Good. Right, I've just been detecting there. My mate's just called me over here. And he's just found a hammered. We've only been here, what, 20 minutes? Yeah. Look at this. This is a half groat, you think? I think so, yeah. Look at that, everyone. That's a beautiful coin, that is. You're not coming again. <laughs> oh, congratulations on that. No problem, thank you. That's a nice one. Yeah. I don't know who he is. I think he's... I don't know. Uh, let's have a look, see. Too early in the day, isn't it, yeah? It looks like Edward. Yeah. Yeah, Edward. So it'll be either first or third, or second. I think it's a half grout. How deep is that? Quite, well, about eight, uh, four inches. Oh, nice. There's a yeah. chance for me then with me, Gary. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right, congratulations. Right, next signal. It's a good sign. Musket ball. It's just starting to snow now. Right, we'll crack on. Right, Jackie's just had this find next to me. She thought it was a hammy or a Roman at first, but we're not sure yet. It could be a little tiny button, bit of silver on that side. It's got to be a silver gilded button, isn't it? Come on, Macro, pick it up there. It's tiny. Can't see any pattern. I think I can see a dot in the middle. Oh. We'll check it when we get home. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Right, my friend's just come over here, he's got a Roman coin. Here, hang on, just bear with me. There he is. And a ring. Looks medieval. Looks medieval, there it is. White stone. Oh yeah, white stone. Uh, just show you the side. Look at that for a Roman coin. Well done. 
Right, just got a signal, and it's a strange looking object. It's got like little rings on it. I'll show you. It's on me towel, because me, me, I've got black gloves on. See that? I don't know what it is, but it's old. Clean that up and have a look later. Right, mate, it's just got a, a big old Roman coin there. Look how thick that is. Fucking this here, this is fucking... This was deep. Yeah. Oh, fuck it. That's been cast, that. Look at that. <laughs> right, we're just going to have dinner now, and Jackie's just showed me a nice thing she's found. Look at that. A dead old watch winder. Nice. Look at that. Turn it round for it. That's beautiful, that Jack. Sweet. Got writing on it as well. Yep. Well done. Gotta clean it up. Just bumped into my friend and he's just been cleaning the item up and he's just discovered it's a Roman fibula. It is. What a nice find that is. Well done, that man. Yet to find one of them. Beautiful find that. Well done. Right, just had dinner on a different field. Just got a nice tom back with a uh, pa pattern on. Don't know if you can see that. Right, just had to walk back to the car because uh, my earphone cable had broken. So uh, I realised because what I do is uh, swing my machine over my spade every couple of minutes. Normally I have a spare one in my pocket, but today unfortunately I didn't. There's the spare one here. Uh, I've got these type of headphones where it's got a jack plug into the headphone itself. So if the cable breaks, you just change it. Right, I've got to climb through this wood, uh, through this hedge, because I'm not walking all the way up there to the gate. So I'll share this with you. You ready? Ow! 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 Nettles! Ow! Ah. Uh. 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 There you go. There. Through them. He goes away now. There's my machine. Uh. Oh, yeah, I polished my coins up on my machine the other day. There they are. On my spade, sorry. There's me good luck one there. There you go. Right, let's see if we find something else. Right, next signal it looks like to be an old pigeon ring, but I could be wrong. I'm going to clean it up when I get home. Right, almost. Right, next signal a big buckle. Full, oh, average size. There you go. Pretty deep as well. Uh, the old probe trick. It is, top of the hole. It's in, it's in the hole. Yeah, good eight, nine inches. Uh, it's just started snowing again, but it's uh, it's on and off, to be honest with you. So uh, let's hope it holds out on us. Uh, George, second coin as well, just being found, I believe. So there's some nice bits on here. Let's hope I find one. Something nice. Right, everyone, I've just got a signal, but on the third field now, which we're coming back to next week, definitely think I've just got a Roman grot. I'm going to clean it when I get in. There's no shank on it, and it's... It's, uh... It's, well, you can see that. I say I haven't cleaned it yet. There's the hole. Bear with me. There's the uh, thickness of it there. Very thick. And I've just seen some sort of pattern on it. So, one Roman coin for me. Woohoo! Right, you're not going to believe this, folks. Uh, it's coming to the end of the day, and I've just found an amazing nice silver coin. Right, an Irish, I believe the rare, aren't they? Yeah, well, we don't get many of these. Bank token, five Irish pence, 1806, George the Third. Bloody hell, I couldn't believe it when I seen that. Yeah, as soon as I saw the head, I knew. 
That's an amazing find for me today. It is, it's an amazing find for anyone, though. Love it. That is the best we find of the day. And that's probably clear enough, that. That would be classed as a coin, because it's got the king's head on. Right, next signal, which is probably my last. Uh, I've just got a button, which is gold gilded, and it's the shape of a 50 pence piece. Look. Strange. Right, we're heading back now, so we don't get nothing. Uh, we'll see at our home. Bye. Bye. There's Jackie, oh yeah. <laughs> Bye. I haven't filled you much today, Jack, sorry. She's freezing. Yeah. Jackie's got a few nice bits, which you've seen before. So, uh, bye for now. Right, I've just got a signal. I thought it was some crazy coin until I turned it over and realised it was a button. It's got like, oh dear, I've dropped it. It's got like a wavy bits in it. You probably won't see it because I've got black gloves. I'll show you that at home. Right, my mate's just been opposite me, about 20 foot away, and he's just found a silver amazing buckle. It's a shoe buckle, is it? Yeah. Yeah. And just before that, he's just found, he thought it was a nail at first, and it's, it's a, a maker's chisel. Look at the work in there. What would you say, carbon stonework or something? Oh. Look at the design on that. That's an amazing chisel, that. Yeah, so this, uh, it's always the way, as soon as you start getting off the fields, it starts producing more. But, uh, but don't get back to you. As I said before, we'll see you at home. I right, just walked back to the car here. There's my probe. I've just found a button, a buckle that I've never seen one like before. Look at that. Nice. Right, everyone, quick roundup time. There's your uh, usual scrapite and bits and bobs, bits of lead. That's modern, harmonica the wreath, I think, or big one, don't know. This is unusual, probably a clasp of something that probably had like a buckle thing on the end. If anyone knows different, let me know. Yeah. Right, onto the goodies, we'll sort of. Anyone knows what this is? Looks like it's being fixed there somewhere. Piece of bronze. Big buckle. That's an unusual buckle. That one. Right, this feels loads of buttons. I've got at least three or four gold gilded ones. I'll just whiz through them quick. This one. There's another one. There's that one. I thought that was a silver coin. Right. Uh, this is an unusual one. Gold gilded the button in the shape of a 50 pence piece. It's got a pattern on the front as well. Yeah, right. I thought this was a bear ring, then I thought it was silver. Uh, I think it is a bear ring, but the plastic's come off it. I cut my finger. Yeah. This one, musket bolt. Uh, this is a good find, I think it's part of a necklace. Still got the loops on it. Yeah. Uh, Roman coin, a Roman grot, which I can't see none on it. I'm going to give it another clean. Right. Uh, does anyone know what this is? This is Jackie's find. I thought it was one of them ampullas or something, yeah. but it's not. Looks like flowers. It's lead. Yeah, obviously it's lead. Uh, Jackie's amazing watch winder. It's 1800, isn't it, Jack? Mm. Which is a uh, J. Price, the jewellers, 
and it says watchmakers on there and jewellers from Chester, Gold Gilded as well. And the piece de resistance, as Jed says, be saving us. Hang on, let's get a better zoom on this. George the third. And it's the bank token, five pence Irish. Yeah, so that's it. Good day. I think we're back there in a week or so. <coughs> and before I go, uh, our friend Paul, Ark Chor and Mega Donkey, uh, picked up two dogs the other day, which he found, well, he thought he was straying. Uh, he's put adverts on Facebook and all that and he's found and he's actually found the owners uh, so he's returned the dog so that's a good deed you've done there Paul I'm at a really well done right so that's me for now so next time take care happy hunting and I know your next one and I hope your next one is a good find bye for now <laughs>